Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Paust here. I got my blue on today. <clears throat> blue for bravery. I have a nonfiction story, uh, also a close read to share with you today. It's about this dog named Balto. All right, the dog that saved Gnome. And uh, this is great because this story you might have heard, and if you did, uh, it's good to hear different versions because every time I read a story about a character, it's always some new information I, I learn. If you haven't, you know, saddle up. This is a good one. And then um, afterwards, we're going to have some questions and we'll look back into the text to answer and justify our answers. All right, this is called A Race to the Rescue. In the winter of 1925, a deadly disease broke out in Nome, Alaska. The disease was a grave threat to the children who lived there. Only one kind of medicine could stop the disease from spreading. However, the medicine was in Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage was nearly 1,000 miles from Nome. <clears throat> People were in a hurry to get to the medicine from Anchorage to Nome. An old mail route linked the two towns. <clears throat> but the trip along the old route was very hard. The route was covered with snow and ice. <clears throat> the howling winds were bitter cold. Rugged mountains also covered part of the route. Their only hope was to rely on sled dogs. Sled dogs would be able to endure the long, cold journey and get the medicine quickly to know them. All right, got a new heading. The journey begins. More than 20 mushers or drivers put together teams of sled dogs. Each team played a key part in the relay to race the medicine to Nome. The first team soon left Anchorage on the first leg of the trip. Reporters wrote articles about the heroic race to deliver the medicine to Nome. People all around the world read these reports in newspapers. They followed each leg of the journey. They became caught up in the drama that was taking place in Alaska. They cheered for the dog sled teams, wanting them to succeed. All right, new heading. <clears throat> Balto leads the way. Amazingly, the team on the final stretch of the journey arrived in Nome only six days later. The musher drove his dog sled team into Nome on February 2nd, 1925. The team brought the medicine that would keep the children in Nome safe. A husky named Balto was at the lead. Soon, people all over the world saw pictures of Balto. People everywhere recognized his black furry face, pointed ears, and sparkling eyes. One year later, a group of people built a statue in honor of Balto. In 1926, they placed a statue in Central Park in New York City. Balto died in 1933. And this is true. I've actually been to Central Park. <clears throat> you know, we're in Middletown. It's not too far from New York City. And New York City has so many buildings. But they have one place called Central Park. And Central Park, it's just like grass. But people treat it as if it's a beach. You'll see people laying out on, on beach towels, throwing a Frisbee around, just really enjoying the day. <clears throat> but when you get there, um, the entrance to the park, there's a statue of Balto, which is, which is pretty cool. I need some water. You ever have that little tickle in your throat? And you take some water, you're fine. Yeah, that's what's happening here. All right. So this is a statue I was telling you about. That's Balto. And when you go to Central Park, you'll see him right at the entrance. Over four decades later, people in Alaska wanted to honor the heroic race that brought the medicine to Nome. They also wanted the race to celebrate the Alaskan frontier and the important role of sled dogs. The Alaskans organized a sled dog race in 1967. It was a much shorter distance compared to the 1925 route. But in 1973, the first official Iditarod race was held. The race has been held every year since. The trail covers nearly 1,200 miles. Mushers and their teams of sled dogs came from all over to compete. It's called the last great race on earth. Such a bolt of That's a caption right there. Those words talk about a picture. All right, so we got some questions. So we got here. <clears> hmm. <throat> Which sentence from the passage best supports the main idea of the passage? Okay, so we want to know what the story is mostly about, the main idea. A, a husky named Balto was at the lead. B, the team brought the medicine that would keep, this, that would keep the children in home safe. C, they also wanted the race to celebrate the Alaskan frontier 
in the important role of sled dogs. D, the first team soon left Anchorage on the first leg of the trip. So out of A, B, C, or, th- or D, which one do you think is the main idea? Yes, if you said B, the team brought the medicine that would keep the children in Nome safe. <clears throat> this whole story is about how these children were sick in Nome, and the only way they can get their medicine was in Anchorage. And Anchorage is like the city in Alaska. I've actually been to Anchorage. It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I went there in the summertime. I was on a, a camp uh, teen tour. And uh, Alaska, Anchorage, has uh, 22 hours of daylight in the summertime. So it was around 1130, almost midnight at night. And uh, the sun was just so bright. So me and I brought the kids outside. We had like a soccer game, which is cool because it was like, it felt like uh, daylight. But in the winter time, it's uh, really rough winters. <clears throat> so the main idea of this is that the team brought the medicine that would keep the children in Nome safe. Because that's what it was. Back then in 1925, there weren't many routes. Even now, if you go to Alaska, you'll notice there's a lot of roads that aren't paved. And they want to keep it that way. They like the wildlife. They kind of like that that rugged frontier. Um, so these dogs were able to bring the medicine and save all the children. Okay? All right, let's get to another one. Paragraph 2 of the passage describes a trip from Anchorage to Nome as very hard. According to the passage, what caused the trip to be so difficult? Use two details from paragraph two for your answer. Now, this is good, boys and girls. They're actually showing us where to look. They're saying paragraph two. And before we go there, let's just look at the question they're asking us again. Paragraph two of the passage describes the trip from Anchorage to Nome as very hard. So we got to find out sentences that support this trip being very hard. Okay? Now, let's be detectives like Private Iguana. We're looking back in paragraph two. We're going to read paragraph two, and let's find at least two sentences that show the trip was hard. You see the two right there? All right. People were in a hurry to get the medicine from Anchorage to Nome. An old mail route linked the two towns, but the trip along the old route was very hard. The route was covered with snow and ice. The howling winds were bitter cold. Rugged mountains also covered part of the route. All right, so they actually they use the words very hard. You see right there, very hard. So we got to find two sentences that, that show it was hard. All right, it says the route was covered with snow and ice. That would be my first sentence. And I would say the trip was very hard because the route was covered with snow and ice. Now, they said two details. So I'm going to choose another one. I'm going to say rugged mountains also covered part of the route, which means it's hard to travel around. So when we're looking back at the question, did we answer the question? Yes. We got two details from the text in paragraph two. All right, paragraph three. Which sentence from the passage shows why it is important to get medicine to Nome quickly? All right, so think about this. Why was it important to get the medicine from <clears throat> get the medicine to Nome quickly? All right, A. The disease was a grave threat to the children who lived there. B. People were in a hurry to get the medicine from Anchorage to Nome. C. Each team played a key part in the relay race to the medicine to Nome. D, reporters wrote articles about the heroic race to deliver the medicine to them. All right, this is a tricky one. Let's see what you guys think. So which sentence out of those four from the passage shows why it was important to get the medicine to Nome quickly? Okay. If you said A, you were correct. The disease was a grave threat to the children who live there. Remember what this is about. The children are really sick, and they need this medicine. So that is the theme. That's the main idea. And that's what's really all about. The disease is a grave threat to children live there, and they need the medicine. And Balto was able to save the day. All right. I think, yeah, this is our last one, guys. All right, let's finish strong. Okay. You got this? This looks like a sequence chart. I love sequence charts. Read the chart below that shows events from the passage. So 1925 is empty. So we have to find out what happened first. We have 1926. The statue of Balto was built in Central Park, New York City. Then we have 1967. A sled dog race honored the heroic trip from Anchorage to Nome. So we got to find out what happened before the statue was built. A. A a mail route to Nome was built. B. The first official Iditarod race was held in Alaska. C. A deadly disease broke out in Nome, Alaska. 
D, the, the lead sled dog, Balto, died. Now, I think I know this answer, but I still want to go back into the text because thinking of this as a state test, and I got everyone right, I want to get that four. In order to get the four, let's get them all right. So I want to double check. the. And when they say 1925, that's easy. It's your, your private iguana, and you're looking for a number. Okay. Oh, there it is. 1925. The first sentence. In the winter of 1925, a deadly disease broke out in Nome, Alaska. So going back. So what happened in 1925? A, B, C, or D? C, you're correct. A deadly disease broke out in Nome, Alaska. Now that's what I thought it was. I, I thought it was C. I had a feeling about it. But again, you want to make sure that you're getting it right, like 100% sure, okay? And even if you're like, I'm pretty sure, as I said, these tests are unlimited. You got time. Go back into the test, look back, confirm your answer, get that four. All right, boys and girls, have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.